India's junior minister for external affairs, VK Singh, is in North Korea. It is the highest level ministerial visit from New Delhi in the last two decades. The official word is that the minister was in Pyongyang along with the India's new ambassador to the country who formally presented his credentials. Atul Gotsurve's credentials have been accepted. It is yet unclear whether Minister VK Singh will hold talks with the North Korean leadership or indeed meeting their leader Kim Jong-un. Coincidentally, the Indian minister is in Pyongyang on a day. The much hyped North Korea-US summit seems to be in danger. With a senior North Korean official saying that it has no interest in a meeting if it is based on one-sided demands to give up its nuclear weapons program. Singh's trip is the first visit by an Indian minister since 1998. And... To bring us more details on this new story, I'm also joined in by our correspondent Sidhan Sibal, who's joining me live on the phone line. Sidhan, this is indeed a big meet. Um, VK Singh's trip is the first visit by an Indian minister since 1998. What can we expect at the moment? Well, this is a big development. Uh, an Indian uh, minister there in North Korea for the first time in two decades and uh, uh, he reached on Tuesday though we had asked ME about uh, the development they have been tight left uh, we really don't know what is going to happen uh, are they going to issue a press release or not but uh, of course uh, this is a development important because this is happening just before uh, the big meet between the US president and the North Korean leader in Singapore on 12th and of course uh, uh, India had been under pressure from the U.S. to to shut its embassy. Remember that big statement uh, press conference between the U.S. Secretary of State and the Indian External Affairs Minister when the U.S. Uh, the then U.S. Secretary of State visited India. Uh, the Indian Minister categorically stated in the press uh, uh, meet that India will not uh, close its uh, its embassy there in North Korea and India continued uh, with its embassy and now we have a full fledged ambassador. Earlier we had. Uh, uh, a, a person who was from different services uh, in the Indian Foreign Service. Now we have a full-fledged ambassador who took over on Monday and now this meeting uh, coming. We don't, really don't know whether he's going to meet the North Korean leader. Uh, we can expect uh, uh, the MEA to come out with some uh, information. Uh... All right. Um... Siddhant, you know, uh, as you mentioned that this is, of course, a very, very uh, important and, his, you know, it's a landmark visit by Mr. V.K. Singh to North Korea. How do you analyze the India, uh, Indian position at the moment in the changing global scenario? Because coincidentally, uh, it was today that North and South Korea were supposed to meet, which has now been cancelled. Where does India stand in the entire picture? Well, India has been cautious right now. It seems uh, India was under pressure from uh, US, which has been a long-term ally for at least a decade now, uh, to close its embassy. So India withstood that uh, pressure, but India also announced uh, its own decrease in engagement, especially on the trade front. Uh, uh, once India was the third uh, largest trading partner of North Korea, no longer that is true, especially after new measures being announced by the DTFT here in New Delhi. But India has been cautious and with this visit, in, uh, it one could understand that India wants to continue its engagement to a certain level because of the changing global dynamics. The world order is changing and uh, all the countries are looking for more allies. We know that the, the Indian Prime Minister will be visiting Russia uh, later this week on 21st and uh, he just came from uh, uh, China from that big informal summit. Uh, China has been a close partner of North Korea and uh, uh, more and more we are seeing that uh, the region, uh, the North Koreans, the South Koreans and the Japanese and of course the Chinese uh, talking to each other. But this meet of course is uh, big in a sense. Um, it's the first high level engagement by India in two decades uh, with the North Korean uh, right. government. And, and of course uh, it matters a lot because it's coming just before that big summit between uh, the US president and the North Korean leader in Singapore. Right. Thank you so much, Siddhant, for bringing us all those details. And yes, it is the big engagement from India with North Korea since 1998.